What's up guys, Justin Gruber coming at you with another video and as you can see we got bare knuckles, pants and jacket from season 2 and this video is a special unboxing. We got a package from FedEx, Portland, Oregon, collection 3 of bare knuckles. I got a pair of pants and technically three bandanas. From collection 2 I only really copped the jacket um, and then the pants on Grailed. I'm gonna just pull out. So as you can see I picked up three, technically four items from uh, collection three. I got two bandanas, white, red, and I got the oversized trousers in the pink plaid. As you can see, size 30, same size as the pants I got from the last collection. And these ones did come with the mint green bandana, so that's pretty cool. First off, let's just get into the bandanas, save the pants for last. These are made of uh, cupro, which is a sustainable, more ethical fabric. It breathes like cotton, but has the same feel as silk, so that's pretty nice. That's kind of why these were um, probably the most expensive bandanas you're gonna find next to Gucci or Louis Vuitton. But pulling it out, it does feel pretty nice. Definitely way better than cotton. I love the print on these. Um, these are 20 by 20 inches. Here's a better look at them. Right there it says J, K, and C, M. And then it says bare knuckles and you got the barbed wire. This one I'll probably get the most use out of since it's white. Um, but I also wanted the red because red's my favorite color and that mint green is just something different, you know? Yeah, this is a really nice, rich, deep red. I was a little confused because originally on their website, the orange almost looked like a, like a nice scarlet red, but this is definitely really nice, like YG red. Like if you, any of YG's albums, that's this red. <laughs> this one and the green one mixes black and white on the illustration. It's not just black, so really cool. And then we got, last but not least, JK, mint bandana. I want to see this color in person. There you go. This is definitely in this season. A lot of these pastel-y pinks and these like muted pale greens, totally in season. It goes perfect, honestly, with the trousers because of the pink and the white and something I had to get. So there it is. Check out my Instagram. I might be wearing this on some posts. So here we go. Oversized pleated trousers in the pink, black, and white. Super oversized, wide leg pretty straight fit. Yeah, just feeling this fabric, this is extremely nice plaid material. Super, super thick waistband. What really sold me is when they were posting some photos of these um, during production, they had a photo of these pants inside out and this the construction is beautiful. Here are the pants inside out. As you can see, extremely deep pockets, just like these pants. I can fit my giant iPhone in there and they still got room. Here is that Super nice silky lining as you can see in the black. Here you go with the back pockets right there. As you can see they do exist. You just gotta cut that thing open. Extremely heavy duty on the surging. It's just beautiful in this pattern. I didn't even realize but there is like slight blue stripes in this pattern as well as the pink, black, and white. So that's really nice. Didn't see that. Made in Los Angeles, dry clean only. There's some details right there for the tag and there's the size. Again, size 30. For reference, I'm 5'9", 5'9 and a half, 152 pounds. About the same proportions, generally, as the model Sean. Uh, so that's kind of why I go with whatever he wears. Um, I did message Bare Knuckles and they said if I wore a size 30 in collection 2, I should just stick with that with these. So here you guys go with a quick on body fit. As you can see, the pants are fitting great. Where these fall with these, with these Converse, for example, absolutely perfect. Not too low for me to get worried. A really nice material, since it is kind of wool, it does keep your legs pretty warm, not too warm, considering how like uh, baggy they are. Pocket's pretty deep, let's check it with the phone. As you can see, iPhone 10s Max. Fits no problem, it literally goes up to here, and I got all this room still. And honestly, this is really nice attention to detail. Got a little inside pocket where you can put coins that is in the same exact material plaid. That's a nice tension of detail. Hook, clasp, and then button, and then two more like hidden large black buttons. So it does seem like they have ditched custom metal hardware from their previous collection. As you know from previous videos of mine, I've had a lot of issues with their like metal buttons, so they got rid of that. So 
back to this, so that's pretty good. Shouldn't have any issues. This mint green goes really nice with these pants. Quick 360. Comment your thoughts down below. And if you've copped anything from the collection, let's put that down below. I really did want uh, either the mint or honestly probably the red cropped cashmere sweater. Absolutely amazing, beautiful piece, but really expensive and I only really could afford to buy one big ticket item. So had to go with the pants, gotta get more use out of them. Anyways guys, it's gotta wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Shouts out to Jacob and Cole. I'm so happy with this collection. These pants are absolutely amazing, extremely comfortable, such a reliable and high quality company. Only their third collection and they're absolutely killing it. And I just can't wait to see what they have next. They already said they're in production for collection four. I'm hyped. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, hit that button down below, comment your thoughts on the video. And yeah, follow my social media. Have any questions, DM me on Instagram. And that'll wrap up this video, guys. Catch you in the next one. Jason Gerberg signing out. Peace.